Yeah, it's your host Broken Prodigal and you're on my channel now, the Broken Reaction Game Review channel. I think I said that right. Today we're going to do a reaction on the game Ghost of Tsushima, which is a pretty dope game. And the kind of review I'm going to do is not going to particularly be about spoiling enders, endings of the game or anything like that. It's really just going to be me explaining my experience going through and navigating through the systems. Um, so with no further ado, let's get to it. So my experience playing any samurai game has been it's been a, a course of maybe a decade <laughs> of me actually playing a samurai game and actually completing it um the game i played last that was a samurai game was onimusha um warlords actually the whole series from one through three and then the spinoff with the blue the blue guy <laughs> and then i played onimusha blade wars which is like capcom's version of smash brothers melee so getting on to the topic Ghost of Tsushima was actually pretty dope, man. It's, it's a pretty dope game. I have not completed it. That's why I don't want to spoil the ending. Not for you nor me. But I wanted to do a video to let you guys know what I'm getting into. So we're going to get into this pot. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so basically uh, the main character is Jin Sekai. And Jin Sekai is the nephew of the ruler, Lord Shimura. Uh... He's the nephew of the ruler. His father's um, dead. He actually witnesses his father die. And he didn't help because he was so young. And he was scared. He was afraid. He wasn't yet a samurai. So they go to war. And in the midst of the war, most of the samurai are ambushed and killed. He's left for dead and his uncle is captured. So the story starts there. And from that point, you're rescued by Yuna, who's a, a, known as a thief from a, a village. But she helps him so he can help her rescue her brother. Now, this will be a multitude of different types of tasks that will leave young Jin to navigate through the whole Tsushima helping people. So, uh, I want to say that out of all the samurai games I played, this one was really a good adventure game. And what I mean is, like, you, you navigate different things. You got points where you can uh, follow these fox, and the fox take you to these different shrines where you give honor to a fox shrine and you get charms. Charms, um, most of the time, help your attributes in battle. So I think that was a dope feature. Another thing is the navigation system. I love the way that your sense of direction can be navigated by the sign of whichever direction the wind is blowing. It's actually, if you look in the uh, cover art, you see wind blowing, and it's actually a big part of the game because you have to follow the wind to go to your next assignment or whatever you need to do. Um, one of the things I enjoyed were uh, just the the beautiful sights, you know, just seeing the beautiful sights. It, I love playing adventure games because it puts you, it takes you out of your element. You know, I live in a city, so most of the time you see cars and businesses and all that. And here you just see grasslands and you see the weathers. There's a, a place, a certain area that you really get to see the autumn leaves. And it's like oranges, yellow, goldish all over. It, it's a beautiful sight to see as far as um, eye candy. Um, another thing I enjoyed is upgrading your weapons. Most games have this in their system where you can get a stronger weapon but you really just upgrade this main katana the whole time you upgrade it and you can buy different sheaths for it different decals the costumes and all of the armor has its own particular attributes so you can go through and navigate and hear stories from the musician who will tell you a tale i love this part he tells you tales about the game or things that like ancient stories about certain armors and the person who wore the armor. So these things help you kind of be inspired to like, yo, I want that armor. And I like the uh, the samurai code on this game. 
before. I never really knew the samurai code. I just knew what they wore and that they fought with swords. But uh, the samurai code is a code of honor. And samurais, they do not kill people from behind. They don't like steph people. They kill their opponent, give honor to their death. They look them in the eye. And um, unfortunately, and fortunately to an extent, Lord Sekai or Jin has to learn how to become almost like a mercenary, like the opponent, because the guy is so ruthless that he has to pick up every arsenal and every weaponry in order to defeat his opponents, which are the Mongols or the Mongols. And the Mongols, they basically capture villagers, uh, blacksmiths, different people. They do everything. They're pretty much this roguish people that destroy the villages and burn them up and leave people to starve and get people to turn from their normal um, traditions to switch over to them. It's just like a, a you know conquer and pursue and conquer kind of thing that they got going on. And you're redeeming the entire Tsushima. So it starts at the bottom part of the map and then from that point you rise up and you start to get a reputation for doing such good things, which in life I think is good. Was, for me, I always take life. I take things that I do and I apply it to my life. And I realize that his reputation from serving people, it preceded him well. Being able to provide a service to rescue people or whatever it may be. Him doing it and building a reputation. In real life, that happens. You know, you give a service to people. You do a good job and you continue to build a reputation for yourself. So, yeah, keep that for a side note. But, yeah. Um, so... I've given you guys a, 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 a quite a bit of the, uh, pros. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, you know, he can write haiku. So you actually learn how to write a haiku. If you don't know what a haiku is, it's a Japanese short poem. And some of the haikus will be based off the environment. Like, for example, right now I'm, I'm looking, like I'm, I'm next to my uh, window and I can see outside. And the haiku, for me, it'll be like three sentences. So I would choose something out of what I see. I can put, I'm sitting next to the window as the sun gleams. Then I would choose, look to the right, and I see the green trees stand tall above all. And the last label, like, the skies are calm, ever so peaceful. So that would be a small example of uh, what a haiku would be off of this game. So you do a lot of those, and you get different headbands that represent the poem that you created. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, they got the, uh, the hot, the, uh, the steam ponds or the sauna ponds that you can get into and recover and increase your health. So, one more thing about the pros before we get into the cons. Uh, I like the idea that, uh, your technique, man, you're always, you're ever learning so many techniques, man. And it almost encourages you to get better in battle because the more techniques you get, the stronger you get and better, the more confident you are. The first couple battles I did, I was literally fleeing the scene because your boy was weak. I was weak with no technique. And now, you know, I, I, I'm armored up. I got my techniques. I got my go-to moves. And I, I've even got better at switching from different stances from the wind, stone, uh, moon, and what's the other one? It's another one. Moon, wind, stone. Can't think of it right now, but I'll put it up there. Um, but these different stances that you move through, uh, they help you fight different enemies, whether they have a large spear, you can navigate easier fighting them, and you're able to defend yourself better with certain techniques, and you can switch through. Another thing that I also love, so many things I love about this game, um, the dual system. I like how when you meet, you talk, and it's like a real duel. You see that samurai pull out his sword out the sheath, and it's almost like the Western Cowboys uh, showdown. And then you defeat them, and you gain whatever technique for some people or some. You just gain armors or uh, weapon items, supplies. So the list continues with great things. Some of my uh, things are really not necessarily completely bad. But and 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 keep in mind at this point I have not updated I haven't got the latest Tsushima update they probably have fixed these patches but there are some points of the game where um the camera angles are really bad especially when you're doing like a standout and the standout is when you you call out the enemy and y'all have to have a one on one 
And based on that one on one, you can take out one or three people or four people off of your standoff. And sometimes the camera angle is so bad that it leaves you vulnerable. So when the enemy's trying to fake you out, you actually fall for it because you can't see. So I would say that's one of the things camera angles. Uh, far as the navigation with the horse I, I think it's dope that you can name your horse i named mine as kage um and i like the relationship between him and his horse you know his horse gets him to where he's going even when you finish certain tales the horse kind of nudges his nose on his back and you tell they have a real bond as they go through this journey together um but i think far as pros my biggest thing is the camera angle some things a little bit patchy and I can tell that it's because you know most games when they come out they have a couple of updates later developers catch things that they couldn't see prior to the release of the game not a big deal I, I'll get this game I still get this game by that 9.5 just because of that graphical error everything else far as the story I'm pulled into the story it actually uh, uh, the, the the scenery is very soothing you know uh, I, I love what I see. I love the artwork that they put behind it and the details that they put into a lot of it. Um, so uh, I'm trying to see, is there anything else that I may be missing? There's a lot of stuff I'm missing because I don't want to reveal too much. I want you guys to enjoy it yourself and go and purchase the game. Um, I really like, you know, the bonus effects that they have too. Like when you're in certain battles, like right here, I'm doing the Riverside. Um, I'm doing the pro the proud do not endure tale, and in there there's a bonus if you kill the enemies with the ghost stance. So um, I don't know if I did it on this on this particular run, but when I did do it, it's pretty dope. Um, like you go through all the game navigating and you're learning these natural techniques and you're building up your uh you're building up your arsenal as you learn these different moves to help you and then out of nowhere you get this this ghost stance that whenever you uh kill seven people it unlocks and when it unlocked I was like whoa we got this because out of all the samurai games I played this was so close to realistic it was like no fairy tale stuff it wasn't like you know he could teleport or he can shoot Kamehameha's. It was like real samurai stuff. Like if you jump off a cliff, you're gonna die. <laughs> so it made you like, when you got something like that, you're like, whoa, that's dope. And I like, like when he goes into Ghost of Tsushima mode, it's real dope. I like how the variation goes black and white and only red is the blood or wh whoever you assassinate in that moment. It's pretty dope, man. I really enjoy playing this game. Um, I'm going to finish it up. I may not do a review on how, you know, because this this is not about me ruining the game ending for you. For some people, they, they, they pass up the channel because it says it's going to reveal a spoiler and, and they come back to it after they beat the game. But this, I want you to kind of engage and check it out, man. Uh, if you haven't already, I, I also have a prior video for The Last of Us 2. I might be doing another one on The Last of Us 2 when I get through the Permadeath series. Um, after that... We'll go on to, I got another game, Tomb Raider, uh, a Tomb Raider that I just got. So these are games that some may have already been out and some that I didn't get an opportunity to play. And I'm trying to build a channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and chime into what I'm doing. Um, let's see, what else do we got going on? Um, see, that's what I'm talking about. That move right there, just dope, bro. And then look, at then, then I hit the hello. <laughs> But I killed by five people. Boop, boop. And then look up for the L1R1, I believe. Here we go. Oh, not yet. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's nasty, man. It gets nasty, bro. So, yeah, it's a pretty dope gameplay, man. But, yeah, anyway, this is your boy, Broken Prodigal. Thank you for tuning in and giving me some, t some of your time. I appreciate it all. Share this channel with a friend. Subscribe yourself. Stay up. It's your boy. I make a mimic, then I lie. I hear somebody did. You say it's cool, but it's not.